is Pat Fitzsimmons and I am the West Coast Regional Applications Representative. Hey everybody, Tracking Pat here. In today's video we're going to talk about the Prototrack RLX and how to use the program in and out functions. Okay, so I'm at the main screen and in the mode screen, the last button on the right hand side of the screen is program in and out. And when I select that, you'll see that right now I'm in my D drive in my video parts, which is where I keep all the collection of programs I need for the series I'm doing right now. If I needed to change to a different file or a different folder, I would simply select up at the top. You'll see my drop down menu. You see the C drive. You see my D drive. If I select the D drive, now you see a whole bunch of different folders of different parts and different files that I keep. So like I keep files for customers that I help. I keep files for DXF programs, solid model programs, uh, everything that you can imagine. And this stick that I use here, I use for all the machines throughout the shop. But in my case, I'm just working in the video parts section, right? So I'm just gonna go back into there by double tapping, and then you'll see these are the programs I have. You're probably very familiar with the small spindle program that I use all the time, which is this one right here. And I wanna show you what would happen if I need to change something about it. So if I hold my finger over the top of that, a little ring will show up. And when I let go, this is how I would cut, copy, paste, or delete the specific program, okay? In this case, I don't need to do that, so I'm gonna get out of there. But I do wanna go back one step here and show you a little bit about how to create a folder. So if I wanted to create a folder, I would come into here first, and you'll see that my keyboard opens up. And I'm just simply gonna delete the name of the file for right now. And I'm just gonna call this thing um, something separate. So I'm just gonna say, hey, this is uh, Pat's files, right? So Pat's files. And then down here, I'm gonna say create folder. And as soon as I do that and I lose my keyboard, then in the alphabetical order, you'll see somewhere in here, if I can spell, Pat's files. And so there's my new folder. And then you'll see that my small spindle program actually came back. So all I have to do is say save file. And now that's in there. Now notice that it also put in a folder for pictures. That's because in one of the previous videos, I showed you how to save pictures and notes. And so this, therefore now I have a place to put the pictures if I want to add them to the specific program. Okay. Last but not least, I want to point out that besides having save file right next to it is a button that says save temp. What save temp is for is let's say I've got a complete program set up, okay, and it's Friday afternoon, I'm halfway through making these parts, it's time to go home and I need to make these parts again on Monday. When I push save temp, it will save the program, the tools that are used, part zero and everything else that I need to know so that once I shut the machine down, I come in on Monday and I push open temp, I can go right back to push and go and take over right where I left off. So all of these functions are part of the program in and out folder or mode, as you want to call it, in the control. This should help you understand it a little bit better. If you're in doubt at all, by all means, reach out to me. I'll help you as well. Until then, I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching and keep on tracking.